good call. All right. I'll go with it. Okay. All right. This looks real. They pound the hands. Yep. Okay, All right. So we're Okay, so from what I know, um, Olimar against Pikachu is a matchup where Olimar actually wins the neutral. Pikachu is yeah. a character that struggles in the neutral to approach and has lack of range. And the interesting part is that Olimar can actually spam attack in the ground and it beats the Pikachu. So as you can see, Olimar can actually force Pikachu to approach, which many characters actually cannot. Right. And because it's so small, it's really difficult for um, a beat to get through. Like for example, it hits him, you know, he goes away. So it, it's actually it's actually one of those underrated matchups for Pikachu that's actually like, okay, if I don't get this character off the stage, it's really difficult. Right, that makes sense. It seems like a lot of things too, because of the Pikmin latches, it's like really troublesome for Pikachu, as you said, already to approach as is. But then the fact that you can have that Pikmin latches and just go on and you're stuck and hit like, and then Pikachu really can't do much of the FDs you said before. Yeah, so one thing that I noticed uh, from Josh, is that he is losing patience right now. Here's the, here's the interesting part. When you play a camping character, you want to be more patient than the person camping you so you can actually block out the hits. You want to take the hit for hit. So, okay, I understand that he's trying to apply pressure right now, but I don't think he should be actually applying as much pressure. I think he needs to simply understand what the opponent is doing. If you notice, he's doing so many things at the same time that I don't think that he is taking enough time because this matchup just requires patience in, in every aspect. Okay, okay. You actually see how he's adapted? I like yeah. this. Okay, so. Yeah, now he's slowing down. He's no, yeah, 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 he's slowing down. He's slowing down the pace of the game. That was a mix up. Oh, that was a mix yeah. up. So he delayed He delayed the, the, the up beat. You can actually wait a little bit in the air, stall it down. If you fell down with the no trigger, competition force smash. So that's a kill. But it's okay because Pikachu can actually come back with edge guarding. He needs to he can fight Olimar off the stage with back here. And all he needs to do is just get him off the stage. But he's losing the lift pretty quick. Yeah. It seems like just like we've seen. Like the way that, even though you adapted and you started to slow it down, it seems like he still did not really understand this matchup in general. And I think that's going to be a really big problem for him. But like even during the Pikmin matches, he had a white Pikmin on him. It doesn't look like he's really paying attention to the orders. Because he just ate tons of damage from that already at his. And despite him kind of slowing down, it looks like he's trying to up the pace again. Which is obviously going to work on his favor. You know what's a random, really interesting thing about Olimar? If you actually pay attention close enough to Olimar, there's an arrow depending on the player. So if he's player one or player two, it's red or blue. So there's a blue arrow on Olimar that dictates which Pikmin is leading. Yeah. So that's actually something I didn't notice for like a year. <laughs> <laughs> but the interesting part about this is every Pikmin for Olimar will dictate what his next move is likely going to be. With the purple, purple smash attacks are very slow. So he's more, most likely going to throw them and use them as projectiles. Right. White ones will always be thrown because they do the most damage when thrown. Yep. And then yellows are really good for arrow combos or smash attacks. Blues are good for grab, they do their kill throws. And reds are really good for um, arrow combos because they're just the angle they send you in is like kind of combo. Yeah, so they're right. also good for smash attacks. Yeah. Well. So you can actually kind of tell what the, for example, he has two purple, he's going to throw it. So you don't expect him to actually throw a smash attack. You see, he threw with the exactly. Pikmin three times in a row. So all they're trying to Olimar is a lot about seeing the Pikmin lineup and understanding how the Olimar player wants to move. Nice, because he noticed that I'm him, kept uh, doing run and block eventually. Goes with the shield grab. So, I, okay, so, you know what was the there? mistake from him, from him? That he actually wasn't able to cover the ledge. So what happened is that I'm hit grabs the ledge, and then Pikachu goes on stage, waits for him, but here's the thing. He did, he overcommitted, he did a no chiller. He tried to hard read one option, but then all of them are simply waited, and then yeah. he can just roll it back on stage. In this situation, you want to kind of just wait for the opponent to you know, show his cards, kind of like poker. Yeah, you exactly. want the other person to like, you know, show their bluff, and then, and then, then and then you, then you go in. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I know even from when I see you play, and like other like top players are really good at ledge play. It's just like they kind of wait it out to see what they're gonna do because a lot of people they have a certain timing at which they want to do something. They feel like okay, this second this is when they're gonna get up or do something, so I'm gonna pick my option now. Like you said, they'll go and they'll show their cards too early, and because of that, someone will just get a free ledge get up. And I feel like that may come down to an experience and maybe being nervous. Because one of the tendencies from being nervous is that you tend to lose your patience or tend to freak out, which are both um, the same side of the coin, pretty much. Sure. So now, one thing that I did enjoy from Josh, though, was that he was actually adapting towards the end of the game. He was understanding a little bit more how Hamhip is trying to play the game. So he's doing a little better right now. He's actually keeping it more close. And, okay, great. So he actually up smash when the force smash comes out. The more the difficult thing in the neutral, though, is that when you get the Pikmin latch onto you, I would really suggest getting the Pikmin off of you because even if you're hitting Olimar, you take a considerable amount of damage. You don't want that. 
No, I've heard from some Pikachu mains that one of the main problems I have in this matchup is even if they understand the Pikmin latch and how they work, it's really hard for the Pikachu to use any of the aerials in order to actually hit the Pikmin off because of just the way how majority the aerials work for Pikachu. I think what do you feel Pikachu should do in that scenario? I think that it might be beneficial to maybe do a Thunder. Yeah. Because Thunder, you can go off the stage and do a Thunder. And okay, so we see. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, All right so cool. he has a lead. He has a lead. <laughs> yeah. But going back to that, you can actually do a Thunder off the stage. Pikachu's really good at coming back to the stage and good from the ledge through the Thunder. I mean, a B. And because of the platforms of this stage, you can actually do that setup pretty, pretty consistently, I would say. So that is one thing that he should perhaps look into. Other than that, he has a lead right now. So his goal right now is to... Okay, so you see how Amheb is camping the top platform? And because he wants to bait him up there to go for an upper or something so he can do a pivot grab. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, he has the yeah, blue. He has, he has the blue. blue. So he's, he's waiting for him. He's looking for the grab. Yep. Okay. okay. Yeah. He throws the purple. He wants another grab right now. He has two blues. Next one is has to be... You see how the Olimar players can actually mix it up? This is an interesting part. Olimar looks really... I, I guess like like it kind of seems like the opponent is mashing bonus at some point because right. it's hard to understand Olimar yeah. as a spectator. But if you actually notice uh, the Olimar Nunes, for example, when he had the blues there, he actually tried to mess up the Pikachu player by throwing the, the blues instead of going for a grab. Trying to bait it out, do a little bit more damage. Yeah, so he's trying to use a, the like, level 2 mix up, I would say, yeah. basically. Yeah. Because yeah. the fact that he knows that usually blues are going to be used for grabs. Yeah, but I actually think that when, when somebody does not know a matchup, I don't feel like you want to go for the level 2 mix-up. So you want to use the level yeah, 1 mix-up right. as much as you can. Exactly. Yeah. So at this point, he has the lead. Yeah, at this point, he's doing fine. He does, he does, he's doing fine. He really needs to... Okay. Oh, you know what happened? So the Olimar was stuck into... I mean, the Olimar... <laughs> the Pikmin, <laughs> the Pikmin right? was right. stuck onto him. Yeah. So when he up B, it actually tried to kill the Pikmin. So it delayed his timing. So then he pressed... He probably did the diagonal when yeah. he was getting hit. Because he got delayed got and then he didn't register. The yeah, right. So he, the hit stop. That's yeah. really random. That's yeah. a really random way to get to get it. Because the 